Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today we are looking at an advanced pathing tutorial. Now if you guys want to see some easier tutorials on the basics of it, you can see this plaza and stuff has been created in a tutorial as well. I'm going to link you um, my tutorial series to the top right now so you guys can have a look into the basic tutorials. Today it's going to be a bit more advanced because Frontier has added some very very cool new options and I'm going to show you these options now uh, right on here on the left hand side. You can see really that this path has some some cool plaza we have a little incline to this up uh, upper area on here on this little hill but now the problem is making inclines in the pathing tool of frontiers game is a little bit finicky now i'm going to show you first how it was before the update 1.2 so you have a path and you build the path and you just build another thing and then you want to go up you hold the left mouse button until this little up and down arrow appears and then you drag it up and you have this incline okay so you can see I have already um, an option activated that you can have uh, curved inclines this is an option here on the right hand side if you go to the settings there is curved slopes okay we're gonna deactivate this for a second uh, to make the whole thing easier okay so because this is the default the default is deactivated now I'm gonna put this in and then if you want to go even higher you're gonna make it like that okay so this is how you build normally the staircases in planet zoo however you maybe do not want to have it that way so we are going to create another one next to it with the new tool now the new tool has an option it is on the right hand side to the settings just scroll all the way down and there's elevated length option if you activate that and it is on four meters it's basically exactly the same as we have it right now it's that way and that way okay so it's the same but let's drag it down to two meters first okay so let's see what two meters do let's just delete that again and put another one just behind here so that we create the same again let's just delete that one and then we go from oops oh, maybe a bit close that might be a bit close okay anyways let's no let's just, just do it here okay we're gonna go to the right hand side in case hello just let just leave it just leave it okay I'm gonna go to the right hand side it makes the whole thing easier now I hold again and then I drag up and you can see what happens is that this little bit over here is shorter and that's kind of cool because this helps to make very subtle inclines on a shorter distance or on a longer distance however so what happens is the height you tra travel is basically the same but the distance is shorter, so that makes up for a lot more control. Now, when you go in here and you change the length now of this piece to four meters, it stretches the incline over four meters instead of just two. And that is kind of cool because that way you're gonna make some more uh, controlled inclines. Even though the height is the same, it's gonna travel a longer distance. But now it's gonna be even more interesting when you try to use this tool to your favor. Now you can go in and I would recommend to go all the way down to the smallest, maybe one or the half, however. And then you create the following. You just go up and you have this little, little bit of incline here. What you do then is just go straight how long you want and you just go one up again and create another straight one, okay? You can also do this just with going higher up. But now what you created, and it's very important that you then, I mean, the safest thing to do is create a little square plaza here. That is the safest thing to do because then you can uh, ensure that this works uh, the same way. Now what you wanna do then is you're gonna delete these pieces in between and you're gonna use the auto connect. And what it creates, as you can see, is a way better and way more subtle incline and it is looking very, very nice indeed. However, you don't want to do everything straight, okay? So let's just delete this thing in the front and create some curved slopes, okay? Because curved slopes are very interesting. Now, let's go to the path tool again. Let's take another color so that we do it and we activate curved slopes. For the moment, this is elevated length is turned off again to show you how it is normally. Okay, we're gonna create this and then just uh, increase the height and then you can see I have full control of tilting that to the left and to the right fully understood right okay so I can even just go higher up like that and it creates this curved slope now as you can see this is how it looks it looks kind of okay but you want to have this curvy a lot more subtle okay so we're gonna try and build the same right next to it okay so we're gonna go here and we're gonna just delete this and now we're going to activate the elevated length and we just bring that all the way down to 
uh, 0.5 meters and I want to travel a little bit further, let's say 2 meters, okay? So what we're going to do now is, and this is not working because that thing is annoying us again, so we're gonna just do it that way. So you can see this is a little bit too long and now what I'm doing is I'm just dragging it up and we have full control. Now you can see I am able to rotate this thing on the distance of only half a meter and that makes up for a very very nice transition. You can very subtly just drag it to the left and then curl back to the right or however it's exactly the other way around. You know, you just make it very, very subtle because that's how it is in real life. You wouldn't have these crazy rotations, okay? So you can see that this thing over here is a lot more subtle than that thing. It's really about the subtle differences. And again, you can see that the overall incline on that thing is even way less than on this side because you have shorter pieces that you're traveling. So you can actually only change, not only change um, the rotation, you can also change the incline. Now to make this even more interesting, Let's jump over to this side thing over here and do the same trick again, but now, oh wait, it's per default deactivated. You just need to activate it again. Let's go to one meter and wait, we build one piece and then we create another thing, okay? So now, very cool, you can also do like this little bit trick I did prior, okay, with the auto connect. You can do this as well with the curved incline. So let's say you want to start the curve over here. Just drag it down so you have it and then you just go all the way here where you want to go. Just make sure to not go too far. That might even be already too far. So uh, what you want to do is shorten this again to one meter. Make sure that you go up again. So you, let's say you want to go... Yeah, let's, let's keep it very subtle, okay? And then you build all the way until where you want to go. Then the same trick as always, create a little plaza on the end. The reason why you create this plaza is pretty much that it doesn't delete the connector. And then you just delete the pieces in between and use the auto connect again. See? And then you have this very, very, very subtle incline over here. You can even try if you can make this whole thing connected now. And it's basically always just testing how much of an incline you can get. There you go. We can just try if we can delete it again. Ah, it does not really want to do it, right? You can always try to just do it the right way. Well, it does it, okay? But you see, it does create a little bit of a, a straight piece. It's not exactly straight, but on the, on the top here. But you at least have this wonderful subtle incline over here. So there's a lot to do. I would actually favor this area over here and then make this, cover this up or whatever. But I think this is very nice indeed, because that way you can create some really nice and subtle inclines. And the cool bit, it works obviously with all the different sizes. So what we can also do, not so let's take that one and let's go to eight meters and build a certain very very subtle little hill um, it's really cool so let's activate again the elevation length just go to half a meter and then we create also the length to three meters and then just like drag it up okay so this is what you're gonna do and then we can build like uh, let's see if we can make it like a little uh, roundy staircase that goes over these uh, little path examples we have over here so you're just gonna be very careful in what you build because you don't want to create actually the game helps you I want to recommend if you build these things you can always change the asphalt later But if you build this take one of the asphalt pieces or maybe even the brighter one the reason why is if you create this and you make the you make the turns too crazy you can see on the right hand side have a look to the right hand side here um, there is a little bit of a glitch coming out, a little bit of a shadow in there. Um, and this is where the path starts to break, okay? So what you want to do is to make sure that you avoid these things by just making that very subtle. Problem now is that it wants to connect with all the paths, so uh, I would recommend to try to go up. But yeah, okay, sometimes it is finicky and you don't really have that much control. Let's drag that down to two meters to gain back control. It doesn't allow me because there's so much, so much different stuff here. Um, which is a bit of an unfortunate situation. Let's go to one meter and see if it's better. It's not. Um, you would now, to, to get, regain control, you definitely would need to go and uh, try to... Yeah, see, now I'm not connecting to the path and I have a bit more control again. It's a bit finicky, as I said, because you would need to delete all the path in, in the background. Um, but, I ah, okay, here you can see it really nicely. When you go too far to the left, the texture on the pathing path is going to break. But if you drag it slowly left and then it's gone and you can just go further. So this is how you, you create a very, very subtle rotation in here without creating the texture to break. And you can really see how much better this looks. Like it's really, really cool. And it, it does create some really nice inclines. Now let's delete this again. Uh, to show you what you obviously can also do here. 
you can just also take that one to your favor and then again activate this one and build a little bit of a higher change here just go down delete these things you have this nubsy over here and then what you will do as always you want to try to connect these things and that's just oops can i just do it now um let's deactivate that and then it tries to connect what it doesn't do right now maybe it's too uh is it did i oh i need to change the length again yeah it doesn't want to auto connect but you can see it it would then go like this and then you can just try and see if it whoops now that was too much can i just redo it please there we go and try to connect one here. Yeah, there we go. So it's, it's it's as always, it doesn't change completely. Like it's still a little bit finicky, but you can really see how this works out. And there's still the old trick of, can you just go away please? Important request. Yeah, I have no security guard. Are you kidding me? This is the important request. Uh, oh God. Um, holy crap. Can you please stop throwing all the litter down? There are a bunch of bins over there. Now, you can see that there is a lot more control. A uh, last thing I want to show you, and this um, full credit to Mike Sheets and Bro Nation. I don't know exactly who came up with this technique in the first place, but um, this is all obviously raised path, but you also want to make subtle inclines on the terrain because that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Now, the little trick you can do is, and you just go to facilities, and then you're going to use the transport ride, okay? So the transport ride will allow you to create subtle inclines. And I'm gonna recommend you can use either the monorail or the uh, transport ride. Like I think, I used to do it with the monorail, but I figured that the transport ride is actually the better choice for me, mainly because it is a bit wider and the path is actually pretty demandy. So what you wanna do is you wanna create this and make a very, very short piece if you can. Just build that and you can also delete the station already. You don't need the station. So what you wanna do now is you create the incline of a few degrees and then you start pulling your path. So what you also can do, you can also, if you want a little bit of banking, it's actually fine, just do it, okay? So it, some paths do use that in real life as well. So what we are going to do, we are going to do and bring this back to zero, obviously, and we're just creating a path that leads all the way up here. That's all we do, okay? We're going to create a very natural flowing path here. So let's just bring that back to here. Oh, it still is a bit curled, right? Let's bring that back to zero. And then we can also bring that back down to zero here. So this is where we go and build the path, that's all. And then I wanna do a little bit of a sunken path here as well. So I'm gonna delete this piece and I'm gonna bring this a little bit down. Eight degrees is quite a lot. I'm gonna bring it back to zero. Or maybe we can just also let it start it tilt and then this would connect to the path over here, okay? Good, done. So this is what you wanna do. This is how you prepare basically for it. And now what you do, you go to terrain you go to the push tool, make sure that it's very small and that you uh, decrease the intensity, first of all, to 30. You know, 30 is okay for the beginning. Also, highly recommend uh, to use heavy soil because that's gonna give you the better view. And then make sure you use by paint, you use the selected one. So it's gonna create the soil for you. Now, what you wanna do, you're gonna push until you see the rail in the middle, okay? That's all you need to do in the first place. And then you start painting that in a way that you slightly reveal the track. It doesn't need to be that crazy, okay? So you're gonna reveal the track as you go. So here we go, it's just revealed. And then what you're gonna do is you just use the push tool again, and you can even decrease the intensity again, and you just push it back until you still have something from the track to see. The rail in the middle has to stay there. Um, but you're just going to adjust this ever so slightly and then you can do uh, the push to the outside as well to reveal the tr on the outside as well. Just doesn't matter if in the middle there is something now, just keep pushing and then you can just uh, create that in the middle again, okay? So until this is all there. It's all nice, don't, don't worry too much about how it looks. Uh, we can always smooth it out. But what we wanna do with the incline here obviously is we wanna follow this as well. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow this and just raise it to your favor, okay? So make sure that the rail in the middle, the main rail is always revealed because that's kind of your guidance. Um, okay, there is the path in the way. Um, let's just quickly, let's just quickly delete these two. We don't need them. Uh, so we're going to, oops, terrain. And then you're gonna just follow this path um, as much as you can with the terrain and make sure that you really, really follow it very nicely because 
The reason is the path is very demanding when it comes to natural path. It needs a lot of space to the left and to the right. Uh, and what you will do later is you will, <clears throat> sorry for my voice again, I'm gonna just quickly get a nip of water. All right, there we go again. Um, what you wanna do is uh, you wanna make sure that this is very nice and subtle because later on we need to increase the size of the, of the overall um, layout to the left and to the right. So what you also wanna do is to make sure that this is a very, very, very slight incline always. The more you go, the higher the incline is or the bigger the incline is, the harder it gets to make it smooth and uh, that is what you wanna do. You wanna have it smooth. Smooth. And also I recommend to not go, I know it's tedious, but do not go over 20% or 30% of intensity for the, for the rough work. And then in the end, when you have it done, uh, you even go down to 10% because it is necessary that you just push it ever so slightly that it is only disappearing, only like that, okay? So you see there is a bit missing, so you want to just push from the side and then just uh, do that like this. Okay, so this is how you did it. And now you can just do some little, um, yeah, kind of uh, fixing here and there, just where you feel you want to have it a bit different. So, okay, let's see you want to get here. Okay, so this is how this is how the path is overall. This might get a little bump over here because we don't want to have it that uh, natural. So again, a path never is like inch perfect. The, the cool bit about this path work is also that it gets a very natural feel across and it still looks good and decent. So if you want to have a foundation here, you can just do so. You just go here, take the highest point and just drag the foundation where you want to have it, okay? So you want to bring the path over here and then you can always just smooth out the edges, but I want to recommend to do this later. Yeah, now over here you can just slightly smooth overall what you want to do, okay? So this is what we've done. And now I would recommend to not delete this. Take the advanced rotate tool and just move this whole thing on one axis away, okay? Because in, in case you need it again, you have it and then you can drag it back. Now, this is the prepared area and it will not look perfect now because we went for a way to, um, way to minor track. This is four meters in width and the, the, you know, it will curl to the outsides now. But just to show you, I'm gonna take this path now and I'm gonna use the four meter one and I'm gonna use for the center and then Let's just start over here and we are going to deactivate the angle snap so you can stay in the middle and then we're just going to follow the path around. You can see it has not that many issues because we created a very nice subtle incline and the path does exactly what we wanted it to do. So here you can see this is the very nice subtle incline and yes as I said it has some bumps to the left and to the right. You can get rid of them. I'm gonna show you now how you get rid of them. I just wanted to show you how nicely you can do these inclined path things um, without actually having to wonder. I mean you can always do the terraform yourself but it will never give you that kind of nice feel. What you can do, you can use the flatten to surface tool and this will create a way wider area for you and make the path a bit more straight in case you want it. Now, I wanna recommend to go to three meter and increase the intensity a little bit and then you go and follow with your mouse exactly the middle of the rail, okay? And just drag it a little bit, go to the next and then you just do it, always push it a little bit, okay? So the reason why I do it that way is um, you're not um, creating differences too much, okay? So it creates a little bit of a nicer feel. You can also always make it wider in case you want to have it more hefty. So just push the middle and you can see it creates a bit of a flatter terrain. And then there we go. Just gonna show you the difference in a bit. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, my voice, my pollen allergy is driving me crazy. So just keep pushing. There you go. And you can see it changes already a little bit to style. And now as we drag that away, you will see that this is a lot more flat over here. See that? It's a lot more flat. It is a bit finicky work, but now as I'm, I'm building the path again, you can see the differences. Um, it's not that much of a difference in the front here, but it will be to the end. Oops, I didn't want to connect that. So let's go over. And you can see it is all a lot, a lot more straight and a lot more... Um, you know, just flattened. I think that's what it is. It doesn't necessarily look that crazy natural as it did before, and that one is still very steep, but this is how you would create different pathing options, okay? So this is really a general advanced tutorial of making really nice uh, flowing, um, yeah, kind of pathways and stuff. So I'm gonna leave this just, oh wait, uh, can I just pull that in as a little advice? Let me just see, does this look 
Ah, it doesn't really matter. Let's, let's keep it in the back. So yeah, this is um, a little, hopefully for you, very helpful advanced pathing tool. We all know that the pathing tool is a bit finicky, but you basically can create everything you want uh, if you just spend a lot of time doing it, uh, I want to say. And yeah, this is how it works. This is how you use the different options in the game. And I think it's definitely a game changer with the new incline tool. I mean, especially that one over here uh, shows how cool and easy it is to build these new very long and subtle inclines and also like these wonderful new uh, slight rotations in inclines. So it's really cool and it makes a lot of sense to use the uh, tools to your favor. And you can see people are using it over here. It's kind of cool. It creates this lovely swooping path around here. So it's actually cool. And I really hope that it was helpful for you. Let me know in comments down below if it was and if you have more questions to it. And then if you have another trick in terms of pathing, please let me know as well. And I'm gonna uh, be more than happy to implement that into my routine. So I really hope you guys stay safe, have a wonderful weekend and see you next time. Goodbye.